Well, I'll give the movie this. It's not every day I see a paranormal movie about skydivers who perform a haunted jump and then a ghost chases them. Move over, Grim Cuddy. Hex may take the reins for the unintentionally funniest horror movie of the year. In this movie, skydiver Sarah is asked to join a team of other jumpers to perform the jump called the Hex, the one that no one dares to even attempt. The dude's pitch to her is quite convincing, as he says, jumping alone is like masturbation. It'll do in a pinch, but it's quite depressing. That's enough for her to say, sure, of course, why wouldn't she join your team? Maybe that'll get the cameraman out of my ass for once. She has to join to see how cartoonishly and stereotypically extreme these characters are. As in one of them takes a can of Red Bull out of his bag, and not only does he kiss it, but he also shotguns it and screams afterwards. The dialogue in this is bad, like really, really, really bad. It's the kind of movie that'll do a big close-up of someone saying, whatever. Or when they're on the plane, one goes, If you want the plane to go higher, just flash your boobs to the pilot! Then when the plane hits turbulence, the pilot says this. Sorry about that, folks. I think the man upstairs gave us some turbulence just to make the beautiful titties bounce. In the first act, I kept forgetting this was going to turn into a horror film. It felt more like a direct-to-video movie to ride off of the release of not Point Break, but the Point Break remake. I won't say there's not an interesting idea here, like when they jump and one vanishes into thin air. It's just that it's a little hilarious that the ghosts then start messing with their microwave, and they cause one to have a heart attack and die during a jump but it would have been way more hilarious if he landed in gator water. The tones and character motivations are random. There's a sex scene so out of nowhere, one of the characters straight up says, well, that was unexpected. Then it goes from a ghost movie to kind of a slasher film, where a dude is chopped up in the bedroom after sex, and the stupid cop says, so, got some bad luck with the fellas, huh? I spent this whole movie thinking this was clearly something written about 20 years ago, and maybe it's just easier to make it now on a smaller budget with all the GoPro shots and drone shots they could use. But maybe not. I miss the simple and focused storytelling of Coleman Francis's The Skydivers, at least compared to this. There's still some weird shots here, like this, where the lighting is so off, it doesn't even look like the actors are really there together. Hell, during the third act, I kept wondering if this started out as a spec script for a Final Destination sequel, where the invisible force is possibly trying to kill them for surviving the jump, like with this fire on the stove. Which leads to this happening. <sighs> Yeah, that might be funny at all, but it isn't as funny as shotgun backfiring into a man's face. Sorry. Oh, motherfucker! I can't even begin to explain what the resolution is here, which is impressive because the movie itself is so confused about it, they repeat themselves and try to explain it several times. All I know is that it's a script that probably would have inserted Pinhead into it in the 2000s. And that this plane explosion scene contains even more ridiculous effects. This movie is a D minus. The dialogue is horrendous. The effects are downright funny. The plot turns are random and make zero sense, but we did get some laughs out of it. And I almost respect that not only does it appear to have been written decades ago, but that they didn't change a damn thing about the script. Yeah, it's terrible, but we didn't regret watching it. Yeah, and if you really want to be great, you can flash the pilot your boobs and it'll give us some extra altitude. But if you're looking for some new snob material, head on over to our Patreon at patreon.com slash thecinemasnob, where you can currently see the first three parts of our upcoming supersized episode on 1960 in film. The full episode is coming soon, but already there's 90 minutes worth of snob material over on Patreon. Hope to see you there. Yeah.